Okay, boys and girls, uh, on your test, this will be what we're covering right now. I promise you will have this question on your test. And, and here it is as follows. If you write it down, if we have f of x is equal to, whoop, if we have f of x is equal to, let's say, uh, 4x to the fourth minus uh, x to the third plus x minus 8, uh, we can find, oh, all right, plus 8, we'll, we'll leave it as that, and we want to find uh, higher derivatives. What higher derivatives mean is as follows. We would find f prime of x, f double prime of x, f triple prime of x, and f fourth derivative, we write it like that, of x. Hold on, I need to take care of something really quick. I will end you guys. So I'm sorry, it uh, it says something more to the nature of uh, a... So uh, they don't write, after a while, they don't write triple prime anymore. They, they would write, say, the fourth derivative of x. That, that's what that refers to. So uh, it, it's not too hard. What's the first derivative? Now, in unit four, in chapter four, unit four, you guys will be discussing uh, what it, what these actually mean. You don't understand yet what a second derivative means. I will tell you this, that the first derivative refers to velocity. When we look at a position function, the first derivative is, is velocity. The second derivative is acceleration. We do know that in terms of application. But beyond that, what do the derivatives mean? We don't know that yet, but we should be able to find them. What is the second derivative? 48x squared minus 6x. What's the third derivative? 96x minus 6. What's the fourth derivative? What would be the fifth derivative? How about the sixth? How about the seventh? Oh, you need to pass. Yeah, give me, give me, sit down, give me one second. Let me get them started on their second one. Try this. Find the first, second, third, and fourth derivatives of this. This, this shouldn't be, this is not meant to be difficult. Try to find the first four derivatives of that. I will pause the recording and, uh, Okay, uh, what was the first derivative? 2 cosine of x. What was the second derivative? Third derivative. And fourth derivative? So you can tell that what will happen is if you take the derivatives of sine and cosine, that you'll begin to cycle through after a period of four. That you come back to the, the very beginning one. Uh, one more. Try this one. And then I'll give you your study guide. Two X minus one of the fifth. So you can find the first second, third, and fourth derivatives. These are the higher order derivatives. Let's see what we have. I will show you the way that I do these, okay? And this is the way that you can do them. The derivative of the inside 
times the derivative of the outside with the inside left alone. What's the derivative of the inside? The derivative is 2. So this will be 2 times the derivative of the outside is 5 u to the 4th, which is 10 2x minus 1 to the 4th. And I, I will continue to repeat that process. The derivative of the inside is 2 times 10 times the derivative of the outside, which is 4, 2x minus 1 to the third, which is 80, 2x minus 1 to the third. And you continue on and on and on through this process. Derivative of the inside, again, is 2 times 80. The derivative of the outside will be 3u squared. So times 3, u is 2x minus 1, 20 squared, or 24480. And then your last one will be as such. 960, so 1920 to the first power. So you could distribute that if you want. So those are higher order derivatives. I, I think that uh, you guys know how to take the first, second, third, fourth derivatives. Those are just a few examples. So um, with that, uh, Luke, why don't you say bye, Stuart? See you, Stuart. Happy Thanksgiving, Stuart. We hope you ate lots of great food. Have a good one.